in search of an easy commute. On Tuesday, the Beijing Metro Management Authority announced its decision to construct six new subway lines. The city is notorious for its traffic congestion, and operation snacks have made things worse. During the Monday morning rush hour, a signal malfunction delayed several trains on Line 5. It was the seventh time in October. The municipal government needs to know it's good to have more subway lines, but what's more important is the quality of subway construction. Better metro management is needed. I was once stranded on Line 10 and was late for work. The subway in Beijing has been developing too fast and have got a feeling that its quality has been neglected. Yao Dongmei is an urban planning expert from the Office for Metropolitan Architecture. She agrees that better design and management are needed. Generally speaking, the development of Beijing's metro system has lagged far behind the city's urbanization, so it cannot meet the needs of the city's commuters. That's why the subway congestion problem is getting worse. We need to improve the future subway design as well as the metro management to provide people an easy and comfortable underground commute. Beijing has the oldest metro system in China. Its first line opened in 1969. Today it has 17 lines, more than 200 stations and around 450 kilometers of track. But it's a major challenge to fit a modern metro system into an ancient city. It's important to integrate the metro system design into the future urban planning. Unlike some other modern cities like New York, it's hard for an old city like Beijing to develop a metro system. But what we can do now is to integrate the subway with other public transport systems and public areas as much as possible. There has been a wide range of criticisms on the city's subway system not being people-oriented enough. Now the government's challenge going forward is to have a sound plan for future subway construction so that people can have a convenient and more importantly comfortable commute. Humble CCTV, Beijing.